In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is a lot in this Sunday's Gospel that really is surprising, at least as long as we separate it from all that we know and believe about God and his word. There is so much surprising in our Gospel this Sunday when we take the position of Nicodemus. In fact, the only thing that is no surprise is that Nicodemus sneaks around in the middle of the night to visit Jesus. He's afraid of what his fellow members of the Jewish ruling council would think of him if they knew he was visiting Jesus, their enemy. It makes sense that he would hide and sneak. And yet Jesus says in our gospel in John chapter 3, You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. Now, why is that? Well, first you could argue that Nicodemus should have known better as a teacher of Israel, and he should have. Jesus says as much. But he had something blinding him, which blinds each one of us by nature, our sinful nature. It should be of no surprise to us that we need to be born again, that we need to be rescued by God's grace but we are by nature blinded by unbelief and dead in sin. And this spiritual death is so complete, we are unaware of our need to be born again. And so because of this, it's no surprise we need God to rescue us. We need Jesus to utter these simple and yet unbelievably profound words. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. It's no surprise that this is exactly who God is and what he longs to do to save the world, including you. And so, it's no surprise that God has stepped in and done all the work to bring you to himself that you would believe in him and have eternal life. These simple words reveal that our one true God is three in one. He is triune. Three distinct persons, but one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And all their work is about wanting to spend eternity with you. As you look at the pages of scripture, the father does all kinds of things, but above all else, he wants to be known as the one who gave his son, his only son, to the world to save it. And God, the Holy Spirit, he does all kinds of work, but above all else, he wants to be known as the one who brings people to Jesus through the gift of faith. He works through the water and word of baptism for new birth. And Jesus, the son of God and son of man, he does so much on the pages of scripture, but more than anything else, he wants to be known as your Savior who gave up his life for you on the cross and rose again also that he could give that victory to you so you could live with him forever in glory. And friends, all of this is why from God's perspective, that it's no surprise that you believe this because you didn't accomplish this. It is a miracle of new birth, entirely the work of your Savior God. Amen.